The purpose of this video is to show you how you can add flexibility to your code using interfaces. Basically, this is what we're trying to abstract. We're going to abstract a box and a marble, and then we're going to put the marble in the box and then print out the weight of the box. And then later, we're going to make it more flexible using interfaces. So let's go ahead by making a new project. Let's call this project the interface project. Let's add our package for the classes and a package for our interface. We also need a package for the main method. So let's start by making our box class. This box is going to have obviously a weight and also a reference for the marble the user is going to pass in later. So let's make the constructor. In the constructor, we're simply going to set the weight of the box to five pounds. And let's set our instance variable marble to whatever marble user passes in. We also need a method for getting the weight of the box. And it's simply going to return the weight of the box and the weight of the marble. Now we need to make the marble class. Let's name this marble. Similarly, the marble is going to have weight. So let's define that. And we're simply going to set the weight of the marble to one. We also need a method for getting the weight of the marble, which will simply return our weight instance variable. Now let's make the client class and add our main method. First we're going to instantiate our marble and then our box. We also need to pass the marble to the box. Now let's just simply print out the result and let's see if we get the right answer. But before that we need to import all the packages that it needs, so just hit the command shift O to import all the packages. So let's run this, we should get 6. And that's what we get. The code works, but it's not flexible enough. We can make it more flexible by adding an interface. So let's visualize and see what the interface does. The interface that we're going to add is essentially going to introduce a layer between the box and the marble, and it's going to decouple them from each other. This is useful because now we can add other types of objects as well. We can add cubes, we can add all kinds of objects. Now, the box is not tied to the marble, and that's the advantage of making the interface. For this code, we're going to call the interface the placeholder. Now we need to add the interface or interfaces package. Let's call that i placeholder. 
Now we need to make all the objects that are going to be added to the box interface with our placeholder. So let's go to our marble class and make it implement uh, the placeholder. Hit control space and it will give you the suggestion and we'll import the required packages. Then we need to go to our box class. Here we're no longer going to have marble. It's going to be of type placeholder. And let's just call this thing because it's going to be more general. We also need to make this one the interface. Let's call this the thing. This is going to be thing as well. We're good. Now we need to add a method in our interface, the definition of a method in the interface. So let's go there and add the method for the implementers. Now we need to change this name to our instance variable thing. Now if we go to our main class, we need to make a little change here. Marble is going to be the interface. And that's all you need. Let's run this. And we get the correct answer. Now as you can imagine, you can add all kinds of objects to your box. So let's go and make a cube, for example, and add it to the box. We're going to add that to our classes package. Let's call this cube. We need to make the cube implement the placeholder. So hit control space, hit enter. Let's make it simple and make it look exactly like the marble class. Let's add it here and change this to cube and make it heavier, say two. Go back to main, add another object. In this case, it's going to be a cube. Making a new cube. And then we're going to add another box. And we're going to add cube to this box. It's complaining because it's not imported, so let's import that. Okay. Let's copy this line and let's run this. We should get 6 and 7. And we get the right answer. That's basically it. Thanks very much for watching.